Hello and welcome to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayed. In this episode, we will learn how to round day, hours and minutes in Excel. To follow along with me, make sure you download this file. A link to download is available in the video description. Let's begin. In this workbook, I have two sheets, see it and do it. See it is where I will demonstrate and do it is for you to practice. I have start date, end date and the time spent calculated based on the start and end date, the difference between these two dates and the same value in the day format. Now I would like to round it to the nearest value. I would not like to show it as 1.597. Instead, I would like to round it off. To do the rounding of this day format, I will simply press equal to on my keyboard and start typing in the function called round, R-O-U. You can see I have three functions, round, round up and round down. Let me quickly put it forward to you. Round will simply round the number to the nearest value. Whereas round down will round it downward and round up will round it upward. Let me quickly use a round and select the number I would like to round off, comma, zero. Close the bracket, zero will round it to the nearest value. So the value that is nearest to us is the nearest day that we are trying to target on. So let's press equal to on the keyboard. It will round it to the nearest day that is two. Now let me remove the decimals by clicking on this little button on the top that is decrease decimal values. I don't want any decimals on that. Now it says it's 2. The reason it is above 1.5. It's 1.59. If I drag this down, you can see it will round this one to 3, this one to 4 because it's below 4.5. So the nearest value is 4. Similarly, this one is above or equal to 4.5 and that is the reason it came up with 5. I hope this is clear. Now let us go ahead and round off the nearest hour. To round off to the nearest hour, I will use a different function. It's called mround. mround is a function that will help me to round off numbers with decimal values. So what I would do is I will select this one that is the time spent comma and I wish to round it to the nearest hour. So for that I will use the double quotes. I need 0 1 hours 0 minutes. Close the double quotation so it is going to round it off to the nearest 1 hour. I'll close the bracket press enter on my keyboard and I don't need this format. I need it in the hour and minutes format. So here is a shortcut of copying the formats only. Select the cell you wish to copy the formats from. Place your mouse on the edge of the cell. Now hold your right click down, drag it on the cell where you wish to copy the format and release your right click. A small menu would appear from there. Select copy here as formats only. It will copy the formats. So you can see it rounded it to the nearest hour. It, since it is not 30 or above, it rounded it off to 38 hours. Similarly, if I drag this down, you can see the other values are getting rounded. 67 hours, 40 minutes got rounded off to 68. Similarly, this one got rounded off to 101 hour. Now, if I wish to round it off to the nearest 30 minutes, I will use the same function, but this time I will type in M round. Now press the tab to fill the function, select the time spent and place 30 minutes in the double quotes, 0, 0, 30 minutes, double quotes, close the bracket and press enter. I have the values in the day format. I need this kind of format. So I will right click on this cell. First place my selection on the cell I wish to copy formats from. Now placing my mouse on the edge of that cell, drag it with my right click down on the cell I wish to copy the formats and release it. Then select copy here as formats only. Now I have 38 hours 30 minutes. I will simply drag this down. Now you can see I have rounded the values to the nearest 30 minutes. So this is how you can use the round 
function to round to the nearest day, nearest hour and nearest 30 minutes. Now here in the do it sheet I would like you to use round up, round down and the other functions that we have learned in this brief tutorial and do some practice. In case if you stuck don't hesitate to write a comment in the section below and I will be happy to help you. In the next episode we will see how to calculate the based on per hour and also we will see how to calculate the amount that was spent on downtime amount that a company might have lost due to the downtime so don't forget to watch that video don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to continue your learning with Sayed thank you so much and you have a lovely day until next time